Many birds have iridescent feathers somewhere on their bodies, and a hummingbird is a good example. Our Daniel Smith luminescent watercolors are perfect for adding those special paint touches. Here is my hummingbird sketch with the outside edge of the painting area masked off with Daniel Smith masking fluid. I then use the masking fluid to outline the hummingbird, the fuchsia flowers and leaves, so that when they had dried, I could apply a wash for the background landscape without worrying about the wash flowing where I didn't want it. Then using my number 12 round brush to paint in the background, first with water so I could drop in my colors, I used a few watercolors from the Daniel Smith Color Matte Mixing Set, Manganese Blue Hue, Ultramarine Blue, Amazonite Genuine, and Permanent Green Light. I also added a touch of Moon Glow to darken the colors. The idea is to suggest a landscape with plants and sky. Once the background dried, I removed the masking fluid from around the hummingbird and the fuchsia. I then used my number 8 round brush for the rest of the painting. I painted in most of the bird's body using different wash strengths of ultramarine blue and a bit of moon glow. I then began painting in the pink fuchsia flowers with mixes of rhodonite genuine, imperial purple, both in the color matte mixing set, and duochrome hibiscus for a luminous touch. To add some of the jewel tones to the hummingbird's head, I first added iridescent ruby and mixed in rhodonite genuine with some imperial purple, leaving the eye area and beak areas alone. I also added those colors to the fuchsia flowers. After that had dried, I dabbed in to break up the surface to suggest feathers, duochrome mauve and iridescent sapphire over the head, still leaving the eye area alone. For jewel tones on the breast and body, I dabbed in duochrome emerald. Once that had dried, I did the same with iridescent sapphire mixed with a bit of duochrome cabo blue to give roundness to the body. I also stroked some iridescent sapphire onto the wing and tail feathers. Once the head was dry, I dotted a bit of duochrome emerald just above the eye area, and after that dried, I mixed moon glow with a touch of imperial purple to make a strong dark color and painted in the eye and the beak. Adding water to that mix, I made a lighter color to add in some details. The tucked in feet and some light feathery strokes to suggest feathers on the body below the wing and where the head feathers meet the body feathers. I then finished up the hummingbird painting by adding some details to the fuchsia flowers and painted in their leaves so that our jeweled hummingbird was now ready to enjoy some nectar. For this slideshow, I wanted to show you the effect of the luminescent watercolors, so I took photos of the hummingbird painting from slightly different angles so that you could see the effect of the luminescent watercolors as they flash their iridescence on our hummingbird. So that's the Daniel Smith watercolors and the luminescent watercolors by Daniel Smith.